What has got these kids so excited? On July 7, 2015, I traveled to Hadley Point on Mount Desert Island to volunteer with Anna Farrell. Anna is a Maine Conservation Corps environmental steward and an AmeriCorps member. When I got there, I found all these kids. Apparently, what has them excited is Zoster Marina, eelgrass. This project is the brainchild of Anna's host site supervisor, Dr. Jane Disney, founder of the Community Environmental Health Lab at MDI Biological Laboratories. According to Dr. Disney, eelgrass is a flowering plant that grows in marine intertidal zones. The areas off Hadley Point in Frenchman Bay were once covered with underwater meadows of eelgrass that provided habitat for numerous marine organisms and nurseries for various species of fish, as well as larval mussels, lobsters, and crabs. Eelgrass can also stabilize underwater sediments and sequester carbon through photosynthesis. For years, eelgrass populations have been on the decline in Upper Frenchman Bay. The decline has been attributed to the intensive mussel dragging that used to happen here. However, work with mussel harvesters has resulted in some areas of Frenchman Bay being designated no dragging zones for eelgrass restoration. Despite these efforts, in 2012, the Upper Frenchman Bay saw the complete collapse of its eelgrass population. This was attributed to the record high water temperatures of that year, as well as an explosion in the population of invasive green crabs. Dr. Disney's transplanting method involves placing samples of live eelgrass on biodegradable mats and clay discs. These are placed on marked tracks in the water where Dr. Disney and her volunteers can return to monitor the eelgrass's survival. Dr. Disney has seen some success to her transplanting methods. In 2014, eelgrass seedlings sprouted in restored areas despite the complete lack of eelgrass the year before. Her methods are simple, elegant, and have apparently enthused these teenagers. These bright-eyed volunteers are here from Robin's Nest Summer Camp in Sullivan, Maine. The founder of the camp, Robin Burrard, brought her campers out to join us. Robin's camp brings kids from urban settings into the outdoors to foster interest in ecology and stewardship. For many of her campers, Robin's Nest is a first opportunity to work and play in natural settings. Several of her former campers have enrolled in college-level environmental studies programs after their time here. Maybe someday, Upper Frenchman Bay will be home to restored eelgrass meadows thanks to the efforts of Dr. Jane Disney and her volunteers. In the meantime, Dr. Disney has the whole Maine Conservation Corps doing the eelgrass dance. 